Right now, Lisa Blatt is speaking. She was a law clerk for the liberal justice, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, but she's a, a fan and supporter of Judge uh, Kavanaugh. As soon as Judge Kavanaugh begins to speak, we'll go to him live. Immediately. All right, and as we await that, let's bring in Andrew McCarthy. He is National Review contributing editor and former assistant U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York. Thank you for joining us. What did you think of, of what the Democrats have tried to do so far today and, and how the Republicans have responded? Melissa, I think it's predictable. The Democrats really don't have a chance to knock this nominee out on the merits. Uh, Judge Kavanaugh is as extraordinarily qualified as any nominee that's ever been sent up to the Hill for this position. Uh, that's attested to by the fact that he has, unlike many prior nominees, 300 published decisions in a dozen years as an appellate judge on one of the most important courts in the United States. So if this was just purely on merit, uh, it would be over by now. What this is about is trying to gin up the Democratic base uh, for the November election. I must say, you know, I don't know that I'm representative of what the public thinks, but from my mind, if, if this is the face of what they're trying to, to show the public about the way that we should conduct our hearings, the way that we should conduct business as important as selecting a Supreme Court justice, where it's just mob rule and chaos amid the process, uh, it, it certainly turned me off. I imagine it turned off a lot of people. What do you think about the idea? They keep going back and forth about, of course, the documents, um, you know, that he was a part of as staff secretary when he was in the White House. You have Ted Cruz on one side saying that this says nothing of his legal advice, that it was basically about organizing paper. You see the other side saying that he's trying to hide the advice that he had given to the president. And, you know, that's never been uh, no one's ever been able to do that before. Um, who, who's right on that front? I think it's a red herring. Um, you know, we're talking about a nominee, first of all, who has a long, long paper trail. They've turned over almost half a million documents besides the 300 opinions that I've alluded to. Um, it, it was, it's been common. It was the practice, certainly, when Justice Kagan was nominated and, and confirmed during the Obama years that the administration withheld on executive privilege grounds deliberative advice that, uh, that she gave in connection with the, the position that she had in the Obama administration. But I really must say, as, as somebody who's uh, practiced law for a long time, you know, when, when Kavanaugh was at the White House, his client was the president in the president's okay. official capacity and, and, and we he just had wanna, a duty we to, let people to know take here, the president's position. Yeah, that what they're doing is they're changing the table, as you see up there. And Judge Kavanaugh is approaching the table when he takes the mic. We will certainly take that sound live. But as you can see, it's taking a couple seconds here for him to get in place. Real quick, what do you expect him to say? I, I expect him to be brilliant because that's what he is. Okay. Um, I, and I think he will... He'll give a testament to his dedication to the rule of law. 